Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our old craft. I am cur Why is this ice? Okay, that's worrying. Anyway, I am currently hunting for a squid because I am in need of ink sacks. And you're not a squid, however, I will take what I can get. And that is silex meat. I also don't want to get too close to my other portal because things could spawn from it. There has to be squids here, right? Right? Uh, that's a nope. Aha! Squid cider. Just don't blind me. That would be great. Ink sacks. Perfect. That means I can... Can I eat that? Can I cook that? I assume I can... Yep, yeah, I can cook it. All right. Not what I want to do, though. I need to make a book and quill. Oh, and I dropped my sword. That... <laughs> great start. There we go. More silex. Beautiful. And sunset. Even greater. What I wanted to try and do is make an empty antique atlas. Yes. You are able to copy them. So the contact... Uh, the... The thing that what's it called? What brain? The content, the content, the content of this uh, antique atlas is also in this antique atlas, including all of like the the marks and everything. That is beautiful. That case, in that case, if I die, mm -hmm. I won't lose this thing. So that is, uh, I yeah, I won't complain. Anyways, in the last episode. Apparently, we're in late autumn. In the last episode, we defeated a dragon. If you did not watch the last episode, I highly recommend that you do. It was very interesting and also very cool. We defeated a dragon, so now we have dragon scales. And in fact, we have enough dragon scales to be able to make some dragon armor. However, I need a high level of defense. In fact, I need defense 24. I also have a ton of diamonds, which would be very lovely to start using, such as diamond armor and whatnot, but I need defense 16. And if I want to use diamond weapons, I need attack 16. I saw something flying. Yep, that's lovely. And basically, currently, I don't even have defense 16, which would be armor. It would be very cool, very cool if I did, because it would make life better. But that is where today's mission comes in. When, in the last episode, we defeated the dragon, which we did, like, over here somewhere, over here, there's going to be a tower. A battle tower, however, not any normal battle tower, it is one that is filled with spawners. There's not going to be a whole lot of loot, but there's going to be a whole lot of enemies to fight. And spawners, which is the most important part. Um, <laughs> I'm just scared, because I don't like this. I'm going to bring a bed so I can set my spawn, that's my plan, so I can spawn right next to um, wherever I die, because that is probably the smartest thing to do, I hope. Maybe this is a tiny bit scary. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Soul Gazer, please. Yes, plus 200, because it's a unique one. Or it's a, it's a, it's a variant. Awesome. I hope I will be able to spawn them. Apparently, I've been told that you are not able to summon uh, the Crake, which... Hello, phone. Which... I... I yeah, you, you can't... You, you can't summon the Crake, which thank you for telling me, because otherwise I would have gathered a bunch of knowledge of the Crake and not, well, gotten anything out of it. <laughs> anyway, I want to make plasters because they're good. They're good. They require magic. I don't think they can stack, unfortunately, but they are decent. I think I'll bring all four. I'll need them for um, for healing. Probably won't need my axe that much, but I will bring it. Don't really need... Well, crossbow could be useful. Everything actually could be useful. I'll just bring everything and hope for the best. Uh, I do need a bed with me, which means shears, sheep... And good, that means I can also go ahead and make some more bandages. And yes, I probably should move my animals down below on the ground. Maybe I can use the dungeon for it under my house. I might as well use it for something, right? And there we go, bed has been made. The only scary thing is, if I place the bed out there and it somehow gets destroyed or something like that, I won't be here. I will spawn somewhere completely different and may never be able to come back. 
Which is why it would be really, really awesome if we could make a waystone. Mm. Never mind, that's not gonna happen. But two uh, dragon... Uh, X dragon occupied place, here we come. Now according to my atlas here, I have marked this area to be dragon infested. Which we found out in the last episode, I'm pretty sure. Um, so... Staying away from those is going to be something that we definitely should try and do. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this. We should get to see the tower anytime soon. Depending on my render distance. Yep, there it is right there. So it's probably gonna be over here, so I think we might be alright. I can also use my brand new water dragon canteen, which automatically purifies the water. Very, very lovely. Oh, there's even a ruin here. Okay. A little bit annoying with those. Oh, it's a bridge. Okay. That's cool. And here it is. I really wish those boss bars would go away because they're a bit disturbing. Like, they're a bit in the way. Uh, I need a safe place for my bed and whatnot. And I don't know if I feel like this is it. I could potentially dig into this bridge. I think I might do that, actually. And turn that, I thought that was a chest, and turn that into a little bit of a safe place to be. All right, bed has been placed, vanilla torches has been placed. Uh, I can only sleep at night, which means, well, I can't set my spawn until it becomes nighttime, which is unfortunate, but I can place out a crafting table. And go ahead and get a little bit more wood, which means I will have something to block with in case that is required. Boom. Door made. However, it is midday and I can't sleep yet, so let us just try and go and give this place a look and see what happens. Yeah, well, here we go. Oh, that is, uh, yeah, there will be some chests. There will be some chests. Okay, break this. Yeah, look at the XP. This is going to be our way of getting XP. Boom. Done. This level is cleared. Okay, there's actually quite a few chests here. Um, okay, so I got 16. I got defense 16. Ladies and gentlemen, we can... That was a very close up. Ladies and gentlemen, we got access to diamond gear. Okay. Um, I'm only really gonna take what is absolutely needed, and I don't actually know if we got a boss at the top. That could be problematic. Oh, we got a spawner here. Okay, I actually expected there to be more spawners than this. Oh, great. Oh, no. Let's just get rid of you. Maybe. <laughs> Hot dust, that's good. Uh, he's way down there, I think. More coal. I'll take an iron hoe. Why not? Some extra bread. I can't see anything up there. So, hopefully we're good. Oh! Oh, he made... You saw, you saw that, right? He made it all the way up here. Just to come get me. A creeper is not how I'm going to die in Arrowcraft. Get it. There's another spawner up here. Okay, this might be actually a very quick... Invasion of the tower here, I guess because it's day and things don't really spawn. I mean, I'll take I'll take all the tools that I can get. An apple, I suppose, could become useful. Maybe. Build here. No spawners. I can't really see. Oh, we got blazes up top. Okay. <laughs> things just got interesting. That was my last block. Okay, yeah, this could be very much interesting. Uh, I don't think we have a boss at the top. We have 14 levels, so I'm definitely going to put things into attack. And I suppose mining, maybe. That's probably a waste, honestly. I should probably focus mainly on attack for diamond weapons. Things like that. Get the lapis. 
Oh, some iron armor. Okay, I need to prioritize here. Because I don't really need the wood. Okay, yeah, we don't have any bosses at the top. Which is a good start. This, however, is going to be very tricky. <laughs> because of that. Because of that. Because of that. Oh. Oh, wow, we're good. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. At least I hope so. Can't say for what will happen when I open this chest, though. I will, however, go ahead and add points to attack. No, I don't even need to sleep in the bed I had down there. Oh, the view is great. That is dragon markings. Ah, from that. Oh, dear. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, to be completely honest, we could fight another dragon today. We could, quite literally, fight another dragon today. We could. Don't know if we will. But, I mean, we know we can. If I... If I have just a stack and a half of bolts, which I definitely have the resources for now, yeah, we, we could get more XP, get play more land. At this point, I don't see it as killing... Uh, well, it is killing dragons. But at this point, I see it as claiming land territory. Because according to this thing, we are surrounded by dragons with ball here. And yeah, it's it's a mess. So killing more dragons would not be a bad idea. Unless, of course, it gets us killed. Then it might not be as smart of an... Uh, of an idea. But for now, I'd say this was a pretty good haul. I didn't even need my uh, home away from home there. I'm climbing the leaves. We can go home, sort out the loot, and decide where to go from next. Well, where to go next. Uh, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you? Pigs in. I seem to remember these guys as, well, creepy like that, but also cool. Because I think he gives me haste and jump boost? Yeah. Haste and jump boost. So these guys could be useful. Even though I already have a balloon, so they're kind of... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's so cool. Finally something that sought out to kill me. Yeah, I'm gonna swiftly move past this before something breaks out or something. I don't think that can actually happen, but it's our old craft. I should also farm these guys. I really should set up a farm for them because I'm pretty sure the meat is pretty good. But yeah, overall, that, I would say, was a pretty big success. Also, um, org tool organizing, yeah, that, that's just not happening a whole lot here because it's our old craft and you get a lot of different items. I'm a bit torn at the moment. Do I explore the dungeon under my house or do I go fight another dragon? It would mean that we can explore further. So that is probably, long term, the best thing to do. Like, I have the ability, almost the ability, I need, I need wither bones, to make dragon weapons, but again, I need attack 24. We didn't actually get, I thought there would be a lot more spawners in that area. You're not supposed to be around. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I have my sleeping bag, I have my shield. I'm gonna try. I can always lower my render distance. I have plasters. Probably don't need the iron lock takes either, but just in case, they're good to have. So, if I just continue over here, I should start seeking the seeing the dragon markings, and that should be that should be a sign that I'm getting close. And if I start getting attacked, well, then that's a problem. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Getting another dragon today would be really, really useful. I am also going to up my render distance to 12. So I hopefully will be able to see the dragon before it sees me and it's too late. 16 render distance might actually be better. Because I'm pretty sure the tower was over there, so it was right over there. Um, oh, I forgot about you guys. That, that's the chat. That's the chat. Ow. I'm not dying I'm not dying to you. I almost died to it. <laughs> I, I almost <laughs> I almost died it. I, I died it. I almost I almost 
Midnight did die. <laughs> uh, hmm. I can fight dragons. The, the Krakes, though. That, that's a different story. Right, where am I? Yeah, I'm getting close. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, Render distance of 16. Might get a bit laggy for the FPS, but uh, we will see. Hopefully I'll see the dragon before... It sees me. Yep, that's the battle tower. So the dragon should be... Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's that ship. Ooh. Well, I'm focused on the dragon now. I'm not gonna change my mind lightly. Uh, I don't want to be overconfident either. Like, I defeated the dragon once. Yay, congratulations, but... Who says I'll do it easily again? <laughs> Uh, I'm just keeping my eyes out here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. My good. My good. I'm listening for the sa sound and visuals. Sound and visuals. Okay. We found it. That's a dragon right there, ladies and gentlemen. Question is, how close can I get? Getting... Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to learn its pattern again. <laughs> and it's flying there. That was way too low. I'm just gonna try it here. Okay, I don't know if I actually hit it then. Could have. That hit it. Alright, we're in business. I think I'm safe here. That didn't hit it. Maybe one and a half stack of bolts wasn't enough. Okay, this is going to take some time. I am going to keep doing this. I'm gonna sleep and whatnot. Hopefully I am safe here. The turkey will protect me. And um, hopefully I'll be able to kill this thing. However, the render distance is a bit of a pain. Getting over there could be an advantage. Because right now, I don't see it <laughs> at all. Yeah, I'm gonna move location. I know where it is. I just need to move around there, up and over. Oh, there it is. Getting to the stones might be... I think that's gonna be better. Better, better vantage point. Hello, Craig. Nice to meet you. I'm not running. So, you shouldn't be angry. In fact, I'm sneaking. Now, here's what uh, would be really bad. Right? I'm fighting that dragon, and then it turns out that there's another dragon in that direction that then sees me and then decides to try and kill me. Now that would be bad. Also, I gotta be careful that I don't get into its trigger zone. I also freeze to death. I am also now in a very cold biome. So, temperature is going to be Something I need to take care of. And also my sleep. But campfire probably should be something that I worry about. I cannot fight the dragon if I'm already half dead. So I better get properly prepared. Ow. Now the worst part is if this tree just falls onto me. It doesn't. We're good. There's the dragon. Hopefully it's gonna go to bed. I'm going to bed, so hopefully. It doesn't hear me snoring. I do need to get this campfire lit up ASAP, though. Because things are getting critical. Ow. Yep. Dying to hypothermia. Dying to hypothermia. Dying to hypothermia. This is not how I want to go out. This is not how I want to go. This is not how... I need stone. I need... Are you kidding me? I actually need stone. Uh, Plasters should keep me going for a little while. This is bad. This is actually really bad. I won't have any sticks either. To... Yeah, this is a problem. Gonna use a plaster real quick. It does hurt my head. I need to turn these into this. I can now make the campfire. However, I cannot start it without a bunch of sticks. There are some sticks here. Seven. Hopefully that's gonna do it. Please give me warmth. Give me warmth. 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 Fire. Okay, hypothermia is gone. Situation is under control. 
All right. Operation Dragonfight is a go. Question is where it is. It was there. Hmm. Now it's not. Oh, that is. Oh, I'm very close, actually. Might be too close, you know. Why is it down there? I'm definitely too close. I'm also shooting way too high. These bolts are actually shooting quite far. Okay, if it stays there, I'm quite happy. I mean, it looks in my, it's looking in my direction, kind of being like, what is hitting me? But if it's not flying around, then that's a bonus. That's gonna make this easier. I mean, I won't complain. The only issue is, I need to stay warm. And I built a campfire here, thinking I would be fighting the dragon here. But no, I need to run back and forth. And now it's not in its place. It's destroying a tree. It's not making this fight easy. Mainly because I can't see it right now and it's not flying. Well, I mean, otherwise I'll just have to wait for night time when it goes back home to sleep and then... Then fight. And that's a thing over there too. It's wandering a bit. I don't like it. Ah! I just saw it. It's up in there again. Opening fire. Ah, that was wrongly... Let's just... That's better. Now we're in business. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Run. Run, 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 run. Run, run. It might be too late. I should have made a recall potion. Yep, it's too late. It's definitely too late. Definitely too late. Hold on, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, water bucket, jump into the water. If I can. I can't walk very well into the water. Maybe. Okay. This is a problem. I'm not hearing the wings. I might be good. Okay. I'm not hearing the wings. Might be good. <laughs> that was close. That could have easily killed me, but it didn't. Wow. Hey, dear. That has me shaken. <laughs> I definitely got too close there. Definitely got too close. I need a minute. Okay. Okay. I don't hear it. I am going to try. Go over here. Raise the render distance to 8. To begin with. Let's see what's at. Hey, Kraken. Or Kraken? I keep calling it Kraken. It's a Krake. Right. <laughs> that was too close for comfort. I'm shaking. It attacked me over there. Okay, I increase render distance even more now to 16. And hopefully it has run back to its own place. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, my cap is still there. Okay, I think it's clear to go back. But I was... I definitely got too close to it, that's for sure. Well, I do need to get back to my camp because... I'm gonna get hypothermia again. Yep, it was all the way over here, so I need to keep an eye out. Hopefully it's gone. Back to its place, I assume it has. At least I hope it has. 
keeping an eye out in the sky. I want to defeat it, though. I really do want to defeat it. That would be good. And I think I can do it. If I had reacted a little bit better. I knew I was too close already. Like that is. Right? I can shoot it from here. If I go over there, obviously I'm too close in its area. And it's not good. However, if I am able to shoot it from here. Like that. I think I'll be alright. Like if I just... As soon as it like looks at me. Then I know I can be like, okay. It's too close. Like now, now, now. Coming back. Coming back around. This dragon is dangerous, you know. This dragon means business. It ain't messing about this one. The other one, it like... It didn't really bother. <laughs> or get bothered. <laughs> from me attacking it. This is scary. Again. I can't do this here. Definitely can't do this here. That's like the third time it targets me. I think it's clear. Right. This area is officially too risky. Maybe I could do it from the battle tower. I didn't even get anything from that. Yeah, this area is not gonna work. The chance of it attacking is way too high. It has happened multiple times now. Like, four times in a row. One where I actually got scarred from it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. The issue is, it keeps glitching out, so I can't see it. Otherwise, I would be able to be further away. Do we have anything here? Nope. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tackle this. If I'm going to tackle this. Let's do it again. Doing it again. Doing it again. Good. I don't just I just don't know what it is. This one is just a lot more aggressive. And I can't go here because then a bunch of the other dragons are going to interfere. Uh Yeah. It's a problem. Question is if I can see it from the top of the tower. I doubt it though, since I can't see it from here. And if I go over there, that's definitely too close, since that's the cemetery. And also, that's a dragon thing. Okay, at the top of the tower now. can clearly see the dragon's den. I just can't see the dragon itself. Oh, wait, I can. Ever so slightly. Look at this. It's been busy burning that area over there. This is also burnt. That's the village. So this could be the dragon. No, there's another dragon thing over there. So there is another dragon on our right. Uh, I'm gonna try it from here. Because I think this could be a safer area to do it at. It's coming over, I think. Nope. Decided to go the other way. I will not complain. Not complain at all. Oh, misfire. I also gotta be careful of these guys if they come too close. They could attack as well. Now it's moving towards me, but then it decides to go the other way. So this place right here is probably the safest place I could do it. However, I am running low on bolts. Because I apparently a lot of my shots are missing. I'm being attacked by this thing. I really would love not to use... Oh, levitation is bad. <laughs> levitation is really bad. Please die. I do not want to use bolts on you, but I kind of have to. And this could end badly. Nope. We're good. Okay. Had to waste some bolts on that guy. Not cool. And again. Again. Ugh. Now. This is a problem. Especially because they give levitation. I need my normal bow for this. Can I? Please. Oh no. Mm. 
No. You're bad. Please, LMG. <laughs> oh, this is why is this so dangerous? And also, I don't see the dragon anymore. Uh, this is getting... This is... Is this even worth it? Okay. I'm not seeing the dragon anymore. I highly doubt I have killed it. But... Nothing is happening. So you probably know what I'm going to do. Instead of assuming that it's not dead... I'm going to think it's dead. And we're going on a little bit of a research mission. Because I think... If I don't see it anymore, maybe it's gone. Whee! Please don't die. <laughs> that was close. Nope. Still alive. Still very much alive. Ladies and gentlemen, I got it. I got it. Actually got it. I went back, got more bolts. Oh wow. We actually got it. We actually got it. And went down down there. So I think best thing I can probably do is going to be lower my render distance. <laughs> Down to like 12, that's fine. And then loop around over there. I think, I think we did it. Now the question remains, is there going to be another dragon in the area that I'm going to attract when I go over to take this dragon stuff? That wouldn't be good. Okay, so that's the bridge. He shot me over there. So he... Drop down somewhere here, I think. Yep, there it is. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, next wine, too. That's great, because I've used a lot of it. <laughs> Defeating this thing. Let's get all that we can get. Just like that. 18 gray dragon scales. Not quite enough for a full set of armor, but definitely enough to get some stuff going and I also believe it or not I do want the iron that is in here uh we do have more iron in the sensor aha yes this thing is filled with iron definitely gonna take this I will take it as part of uh, hopefully torch provides a little bit of warmth I don't think it does hypothermia might kick in soon which is not good. Something could also spawn from me digging these as well, by the way. That's something to keep in mind. However, it did not. 21 iron ore. I will take it. We are in a cold biome here, which is not good. There's more iron over there. I'm hoping... Oh, there's a house there too. Let's see what we got. Pretty good. Again, hopefully no other dragon is going to... Well, come after me while I do this. Obsidian. Nice. And I can go ahead and grab uh, these things right here. Is there anything I don't want? Probably. Uh, yeah. Hypothermia. That's going to be a problem. That's definitely going to be a problem. I need to go out and then come back. I thought there was another dragon. It is not. Don't worry. Yeah. Standing here it should end the hypothermia because we're no longer in a cold biome. I'm just going to quickly get in. Quickly get out. These are gold nuggets, so they're not super important to me. But of course, if I can get some, that would be great. I think this is good enough. Just quickly want to check out this house. Obviously, we used to have a farm here and stuff. Oh wow, this might have been a village area. But it's been completely and utterly destroyed. Yeah, that's, uh... I hear sounds and I don't know what it is. We do have that up there. We do have the village. There's a dragon in that direction as well. But, guys, we can go ahead and say this dragon has been eradicated. Or getting, gotten rid of. <laughs> that's good. That is huge progress right here. That means... That means, ladies and gentlemen, that we will be able to explore this part of the map now, hopefully, without too many disturbances. However, I do have a plan. Potentially defeating the other dragon that's right there and is much bigger, mind you. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be dangerous, but definitely I think something I want to do. 
both for the village, but also because the village might have a waystone. If I can activate that, if I die and I find another waystone, I will always and always be able to teleport back here and then be home. So I think that has to be a priority. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to head back and we are completely out of video time for today. I believe it's 35 minutes long or something like that. We got a good amount of loot. We are definitely getting better at defeating dragons and I'm going to prepare off camera for another dragon fight. Hopefully freeing the village from uh, the dragony grip and hopefully unlocking a waystone and potential other goodies. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss out on the next episode. And with that, until next time, have a wonderful day and goodbye.